Welcome to this week's episode of Tasty Dish. My name is Emily and welcome to my kitchen. So today I want to make something that is one of my favorite sandwiches on the face of this earth. I had kind of a variation of it and of course what I do is when I go to a restaurant I taste whatever I get for dinner or lunch or whatever meal I'm eating and I decide to make it better. So in this case, I'm going to make the absolute most supreme, perfect prosciutto sandwich you have ever had in your life. So for those of you who don't know, prosciutto is a, basically a, a salted piece of ham that is aged and it's an Italian delicacy. Us Italians love it. We eat it pretty much whenever we get our hands on it and it is amazing. So this is what the prosciutto looks like. It usually comes in slices like this. I've got about a quarter pound here, and this is imported Italian prosciutto, and it is probably the best. I get it from our local Italian deli called Fredda's. They're great. I love the work that they do. Everything is fresh, ready to go. Oh, they even made like a prosciutto bread that was out of this world. Anyway, so, this meal is going to consist as the prosciutto I just showed you. We're gonna do nine ounces of sun-dried tomatoes, a couple leaves of basil, and then uh, we're gonna use roasted red peppers, about a cup of olive oil, eight ounces of goat cheese, a good old Italian roll, and balsamic glaze. So you can find this at any grocery store. It really doesn't matter where you get it. Uh, it's usually in a condiment aisle by the oils, vinegars, and balsamics. So you can find that there. It's usually pretty cheap and it's delicious. So what we're gonna do is with this sandwich is we're going to make kind of a paste. And that's going to involve the basil, the sun-dried tomatoes, the oil, and the goat cheese. And we're gonna spread that on the roll. I'm not gonna toast the roll, but it's gonna be delicious. So we're gonna go ahead and get to that and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're gonna start with nine leaves of fresh basil. I really like basil because it tends to have a strong, uh, sweet and somewhat mm, methanol aroma to it and it really adds a nice flavor to this dish. So with the nine sprays of basil, you should be good. And we're gonna go ahead and add the nine ounces of sun-dried tomatoes. If you don't have a food processor, you are more than welcome to do this all by hand. Just chop it up as fine as you possibly can do it, and then just mix everything together. Now the key to the goat cheese is having that at room temperature. So you can go ahead and add that into the food processor, and just make sure you get all of it out of the wrapper. Oh, some dropped into my roasted red pepper, so I'll just get that out and put that back in. And I'm just going to clean off the sides so the lid doesn't get gummed up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add the lid and put this on. And slowly we will add the one cup of olive oil to your paste. Once all of that is completely combined, you can go ahead and start spreading. So now that we have processed the sun-dried tomatoes, the basil, goat cheese, and the olive oil, now we are going to cut open the sandwich. So I like to cut from the top. I know this is not the way to do it. All right, perfect. So we are just gonna take a spatula, and for the paste, we're just gonna put it on each side. And this spread is good on everything. So, of course, I make a test dish before we actually film. I made this the other night, and it ended up being great on pasta. I put it on my egg sandwich, and I'm pretty sure you could make this and put this on crackers and you name it. It's going to be just phenomenal. Okay, so the spread's there. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to take some of the uh, 
roasted red peppers. You can get these in a can. You can get these at, if you have like a, a vegetable counter at the grocery store where they've got like olives and things like that, you can most likely get them there. And you're just gonna kinda do a row down at the bottom. Now here's my favorite part. This is the prosciutto. Uh, this is incredibly thin. Uh, they cut it this way so that you can kind of read through it. It's kind of nice. And I will just kind of bunch this up and lay this on the sandwich like so. I like to add a little extra prosciutto to mine so I kind of pack it a little better. And then there it is. All right. So sandwich is almost done, take your balsamic glaze and just drizzle on the top. And I promise you, it is so worth it. All right, so we are right here. Oh, that's perfect. And we are just going to put down the center. We'll put this on the plate. And I'll be right back for tasting. Here is the dish ready to go. This I can't wait for. We had this the other night, I said, as a test, and it was a hit. Mmm. You really get the vibrancy of the basil in this. Mmm. And with the sun-dried tomatoes, you get like this absolute wonderful summer flavor, I guess is the best way to put it. It reminds me as a kid, we used to sun dry, uh, dry tomatoes all the time, and oh, it, it reminds me of my childhood, and it's this deep, bold flavor that works so well with the roasted red peppers, mm. and the saltiness of the prosciutto, as well as the balsamic glaze and the sweetness of it. This sandwich is just amazing, and honestly guys, if you were to make a quick sandwich, this is it. You can keep that spread for up to three weeks. It doesn't really go bad. So put it on your pasta, put it on crackers, bring it to a party, it's going to be a hit, especially on this sandwich. I wanna thank you guys so much for coming to my show today and watching. This has been a wonderful episode. I know it is not as long as my other ones have been, but this is the perfect weekday lunch, weekend lunch, anytime lunch, even dinner if you're that inclined. So if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like, and comment below and anything you'd like to see, or if you like today's meal. And if you've tried it, let me know. You can also follow me on all of my social media pro profiles and you can find all that information on the box below. Again, guys, it's been wonderful. Thank you so much and I'll catch you next time.